Hi everyone! This video focuses on the nearest neighbor and sorted edges algorithms for finding a minimum cost Hamiltonian circuit. Recall that a Hamiltonian circuit is a tour that starts at a vertex and visits each vertex once and only once before returning to where it started. A minimum cost Hamiltonian circuit is a Hamiltonian circuit in a graph with weights on the edges for which the sum of the weights of the edges of the Hamiltonian circuit is as small as possible. In our last video, we learned the method of trees. In the method of trees, you make a list of all possible Hamiltonian circuits for a given graph, determine the total distance among each of the circuits, and then are able to select the tour which has the absolute minimum distance. Now, the method of trees, which is sometimes called the brute force method, is great in theory because you get to see every possible route and pick the very best answer, the absolute minimum cost Hamiltonian circuit. But for graphs with many vertices, there are often too many possible routes for this method to be worthwhile. In this video, we'll be studying heuristic methods. Our goal will be finding a fast answer but does not guarantee that it's always the optimal answer. We will learn two algorithms for finding such an answer, the nearest neighbor algorithm and the sorted edges algorithm. Here we go. In the nearest neighbor algorithm, starting from the home, city, or vertex, we first visit the nearest city, the one with the least mileage from home. As we travel from city to city, we'll always choose the next city or vertex that can be reached the quickest, meaning the nearest with the least miles, that's not already been visited. When all vertices have been visited, the tour returns home. Here's an example. Let's find a Hamiltonian circuit using the nearest neighbor algorithm starting at vertex A. All right, so from vertex A, we could travel to B, which is 18 miles away to C, which is 69 miles away, to D, which is 65 miles away, or to E, which is 38 miles away. So the nearest neighbor to A would be vertex B. So that's where we would travel first. Okay, where will we go next? B could travel to vertex C, which is 47 miles away, to vertex D, which is 84 miles away, or to vertex E, which is 56 miles away. So the nearest neighbor to vertex B was vertex C at 47 miles. All right, where will we go next? C could travel to vertex D, which is 62 miles away, or to vertex E, which is 73 miles away. So the nearest neighbor to C is vertex D. Now, D has no choice. You may be tempted to travel to vertex A, which is only 65 miles away, but we're not allowed to do that because we can't return home until every vertex has been visited. So D actually has no choice. We must travel to our remaining vertex of E and then return home to A. So the route that we found would be a, B, C, D, E, A. And adding the mileage along this route, we see that the cost or the distance would be 236. Great, let's look at another example. Let's find a Hamiltonian circuit using the nearest neighbor algorithm starting at A. Where do you think we should travel first from vertex A? Who is A's nearest neighbor? So A's nearest neighbor would be vertex D. Okay, where will we travel next? Next, we will travel to vertex E, which is 400 miles away. All right, who is E's nearest neighbor? It's vertex C. And now we have no choice. C must travel to our remaining city or vertex of B and then return home to A. Our route would be A, D, E, C, B, A, and the cost or distance of this route would be 2,800. Here's an example for you to try. I encourage you to pause the video, 
and see if you can find a Hamiltonian circuit using the nearest neighbor algorithm, this time starting at vertex B. Okay, so the answer is B, C, A, D, E, B. And the cost of this route would be 3,050. Notice, this is the same graph we had in the previous example where we started at vertex A and we found a different route. So it's very important that you know which city you're supposed to start at or which vertex you're starting with because it will affect your answer using the nearest neighbor algorithm. Okay, let's learn one more algorithm, the sorted edges algorithm. Our goal here is to sort or arrange edges in order of increasing weight. And then at each stage, select the edge of least cost that A, never requires that three edges meet at a vertex, and B, never closes up a circular tour that doesn't include all of the vertices. Let's see it in action. So we're going to find a Hamiltonian circuit using the sorted edges algorithm. So the first thing to do is to make a list of all of the edges of the graph and their distances. Then, once we have our list, we look for the very smallest distance. In this example, the smallest distance would be edge AB with a distance of 18. That's our smallest, so we'll select that edge first. Okay, now we go in increasing order. So our next smallest distance on our list would be AE at 38. So we select that edge next. Moving along, next on the list in smallest order would be 47, which is edge BC. So we'll select that edge next. All right, now here's where we have to be careful. The next edge on our list would be BE at 56, but we are not allowed to select this edge because if we were to select edge BE, that would close off the circuit EAB, and it would also mean that we have three edges coming into vertex B, and those things are not allowed, so we have to skip that edge. Okay. Next on our list would be CD at 62. We can take that one with no problem. And you may be able to see what edge we have to take next, but let's just follow the algorithm so you can see the process. So next on our list would be AD at 65. We're not allowed to take that edge because it would mean we had three edges coming into vertex A, so we have to skip it. Next would be AC at 69. Again, we have to skip that edge because it would mean we had three edges coming in to vertices A and C. And then next, finally, we get DE at 71. That closes off our circuit, and so we're done. So our root would be ABCDE, and the cost would be 236. All right, don't worry. We'll do another one of those in just a minute. Here's our graph from the last video. Let's start by finding a Hamiltonian circuit using the nearest neighbor algorithm starting in Chicago. Then we'll do the same graph with the sorted edges algorithm. All right, so nearest neighbor starting in Chicago. So from Chicago, we should travel first to St. Louis. From St. Louis, we'll travel to Cleveland. Then we have no choice. We must go to Minneapolis before returning home to Chicago. So using the nearest neighbor algorithm, I read is Chicago, St. Louis, Cleveland, Minneapolis, back to Chicago. And the cost is 2,177 miles. I'd like to point out, if you compare this to the answer we found using the method of trees in the last video, you'll see we did not find the minimum cost option, right? The route produced using nearest neighbor was not the absolute minimum cost. But the trade-off is we got a route that was much faster for us to find using this algorithm. All right, let's use this same graph, but this using the sorted edges method. So here's the list of all of the edges and their distances. All right, so we start with the very smallest, 
which would be Chicago to St. Louis at 300 miles. Next smallest would be Chicago to Cleveland at 349. Then we would have Chicago, Minneapolis at 425. But we have to skip that edge because if we choose it, that would give us three edges coming into the Chicago vertex. We're not allowed to do that. So we'll move on. Next on our list would be St. Louis to Cleveland. We must skip this edge because that would close off a circuit before we visited all of our cities. So we'll move on and choose Minneapolis, St. Louis, and then finally, Minneapolis to Cleveland. So our route would be Chicago, St. Louis, Minneapolis, Cleveland, Chicago, and the cost would be 1985. All right, so with the sorted edges method, remember the two things we have to keep in mind. We cannot have three edges meeting in a vertex, and we cannot have a circuit that does not include all of the vertices. So those are the only two things we have to avoid with the sorted edges method. All right, to conclude this video, I have two examples for you to try on your own. So here is that um, graph between four cities, Springfield, Urbana, Effingham, and Indianapolis. Um, we made the complete graph for this information in the previous video. So I encourage you to pause the video, apply the nearest neighbor algorithm starting at U, and then you can repeat starting at S, at E, or at I, and then apply the sorted edges algorithm and see what circuit you obtain in each case. All right, here's the answer. There's our graph. There are the roots and their costs using nearest neighbor and using sorted edges. Here's one more for you to try. Find the Hamiltonian circuit using the nearest neighbor algorithm starting at vertex A, and then the sorted edges algorithm. Again, you should pause the video if you want to practice it yourself. Here are the answers. Here's the root for nearest neighbor and the root using sorted edges. Great. All right, that's all for this video. In our next video, we're going to switch gears a little bit and discuss the topic of graph coloring. It's a fun one, and I'll see you there. Thanks, guys. Bye.